Hey, today I'm checking out the Solomon S Lab Ultra Sense 8. I should probably be wearing the two liter vest, but I just want to kind of get a feel for digging into the pockets when I'm on a run. So I've got 500 milliliters of water here. I got a, a gel somewhere, which I think is popping out a little bit. Shout out to JC for these hammer gels. Lots of variety here. The funny thing is his daughter brought him back from Seattle uh, to Taiwan, and I'm probably gonna bring him back to the States again. And I got some keys here and a 50 NT coin, which would be enough to buy me a drink. And then I'm gonna put you here, along with some tissues. Train drivers, they ride their bicycles to and from work. See him back there? Every time I change my route here, I always find something new. That used to be the old uh, Sifang Cha Tea House. Now it's a Thai restaurant. They've maintained the integrity of the old uh, Japanese structure. That goes way back. Onward and upward. My goal, you can see the greenery up there. I'm gonna go to the top of that mountain there and come back. Never went up here. There's a viewing platform right up there in a minute. Just came from. I didn't expect this today. I don't know if you can see the windmills, uh, but that's the coastline. I'm gonna go over the sky bridge. I think it's about a, a kilometer. I missed my run with running buddy JC this morning because it was raining. So I got out here in the afternoon. And so this hill repeat is for you, JC. Have a good time in the States. The NCUE trail system is off limits because they're spraying for mosquitoes. There's uh, dengue fever going around. So I'm just gonna turn around here and I'm gonna show you a nice bridge. I should talk about the vest a little bit. Uh, so just while it's on my mind, uh, these pockets here should be for the water. But I have access to water. In fact, I just filled up another 500 cc's in the stadium. So this one I like to keep for the cell phone, which I'm holding right now. But one note on that, if you pull things out of the, that pocket and try to put things back in, there's another pocket below that pocket here with elastic on it. So if you're trying to put something in up here, you have to also stretch this one to allow things to drop down. So it's just a minor annoyance. Um, another minor annoyance is, I don't know, they have a zipper here on this one. I don't know why they just didn't do the same thing on the other side. It doesn't really take much to unzip a zipper and re-zip re it. The only thing is about zippers in Taiwan, metal zippers will corrode after a certain time, uh, you know, maybe like two years. So maybe that they're trying to stay away from zippers. There are these side pockets. Let's see if you can see them here with zippers, but I am so inflexible. <laughs> I can't reach. I can't reach to grab in there. I'm the opposite of Gumby. Oh, I've been on the road for two hours and 20 minutes. Sorry about that. My wife just called me and said, where are you? So I want to get my half marathon here. So it's a slow half marathon because I had a lot of the climbing of stairs like this and a lot of stopping to take video and pictures. But I wanted to get the distance. So anyway, the funny thing is, 
I had I stopped at a our own vending machine outside of a, one of our language schools and I got myself a drink box put a 50 NT in and got 40 back so I had all this loose change that I put in this zipper pocket and it's clanging against my keys and evidently the pitch is the same as uh, Siri um, the recognition software is picking up I don't know it, it keeps saying can I help you I, I didn't quite catch that it did it three times and it's in this female British voice a mile and a half yet here and I'll be done for the day uh, Sense 2 is 90 grams 3.17 ounces and the Sense 8 is 125 grams 4.41 ounces and then you gotta count, you know, whatever you're carrying. But one thing to note is that the back of this has the extra two pockets, and this one is just mesh. So this is why it is heavier, and also this will soak up water and sweat when you are running, so it will be a heavier vest, definitely. And because there's more material to soak up sweat, it does get a little stinky. So I'm gonna wash this on the Delicate Cycle. Just a note on the Mizunos, check out the card above. Five or 10K race, no problem. Intervals, fartleks, no problem. 21K, eh, not so much. My feet were screaming, Hoka, Hoka, Ultra, Ultra. This is the two liter vest clasp system. So you just loop this on the hook here and then tighten up using this um, and then lock it into place and then the eight liter vest has made an improvement upon uh, tightening and loosening I'll show you that in a minute so the clasp system on the eight liter is still very basic you are just looping this little hook here tightening and loosening is much improved with this push it down to release I like that a lot more two liter vest we've got one two three four, five, six, seven. But this is not gonna hold too much. There's not enough elastic, I think, to hold anything in place here. I, I wouldn't wanna put anything in the back unless maybe I could run with my Solomon Bonatti rain jacket in there, but I would just be afraid that it would topple out. So the, uh, the new vest is much better at, at holding things in, I think. If you put keys in here you have to be careful if um, you know a little ring gets caught on this for example this is our garage key and this ring uh, has gotten caught in the mesh and they have to gently unhook it there's so much of this consumer information it's in multiple languages here so I always think that I'm I have something stuck in my pockets and when I'm running it just feels like there's a whole bunch of tissues in there or something. It looks like it's ready to come off actually. Why does this guy have so many balloons? Is he a clown? <laughs> no, we're running a summer camp. It's a long story. Anyway, the S-Lab Sense Ultra 8. Let's count the pockets. So we've got one here. We've got two. Three, that's for the flasks. Four, five, six. Flip it over. Seven, eight, nine, stuff sack. 10, 11, 12. And there's even a pocket within this pocket on the back. You can see some nice reflectix on the front and on the zipper part here. Let's see, We have a whistle if you get into trouble. First, I didn't know what these were for and then I watched another video and also these. This, it seems, is for a, qu a quiver attachment. No, it's not for shooting arrows. A quiver is for holding your poles.
You can really see why Courtney Dahlwalter, who just won the UTMB, chose this vest, the uh, Sense 8. It's light, it's comfortable, and it holds a lot of stuff. Runner's Garden signing off.